Morning all, Kevin, World in Viper, back here yet again for another hardware review. One battery box mods. There seem to be quite a few of them out there at the moment. Well, I've got one here. It's the uh, the Sinuous P80 from Wismet. Watch this. I'll be back. Here's the box. As you can see, Sinuous P80, you've got a picture of the device on the front there. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not. Designed by Sinuous Designs, manufactured by Wismac. On the back of the box, Sinuous P80, keep out the reach of children. Standard configuration, you've got a scratch and sniff there. You've also got colours these come in, black, silver, bronze, blue and red. I've got the bronze one. Usual markings there, CEs, recyclable, don't vape in a bin, blah, blah, blah. There it is in the box. Let's take it out. I like this little thing, actually. It's quite smart. Put that to one side for a tick. Let's uh, see what we've got in the box itself. Micro USB charge cable. You've also got in there a battery warning card. Usual manual. Multitude of languages. English right at the front. Please do take a butcher's look at this and read it. If you buy one of these, you might find out more information about it than I can supply in this video. Here's the device itself. And, uh, well, I'd, I'd quite like the bronze, actually. I think it's quite uh, quite snazzy. I really ought to get myself an RDA or a tank that's a bronze colour, actually. I've been using my OBS on it, so... <laughs> and that's sort of... Well, that's, uh, that's black and stainless steel, so it doesn't actually... Doesn't actually go with it, but well, there you go. Anyway, let's take a quick look around this thing. You've got on the top there, you've got a 510 connection, obviously stainless steel threads on there. The pin down there is stainless steel plated, gold plated, and it is spring loaded and it goes down quite a way. You've also got cutouts on the top there for those people that use tanks or RDAs, etc., that draw the airflow from the 510. The 510 actually, if you notice, is actually situated underneath this top cap, so you're not going to get problems like you did with the Predator um, and various other Wismet products. Yeah, um, saying that actually, I've got me, me uh, RDA on there, but if you look at these two close up together, there, this one looks like the little brother of this one. I think they, I think this. This one is the mini version of this Predator, so there you go. You've got two black plastic side bits. The actual body of the unit is a aluminium alloy. You've got the Sinuous Design logo on the front there. The fire bar or fire button is actually the whole side of this device. Yeah, it's about halfway. There's your, you've got uh, regulatory buttons on there. You've got your USB charge point i wouldn't charge this i'd rather take the batteries out or battery out and recharge it yourself in the uh, external charger on the bottom there you've got your battery door uh, a goodly amount of uh, battery venting on there yeah if we look at this close up you can see that it's got wismac on there yeah don't vape in a bin and your ce mark a battery is a pull out and it's on a hinge yeah uh, as you can see i've already got a battery in it which totally wicked supply with the device it's an avatar uh 2100 mar 30 amp battery that's fine the uh the battery sled if you want to call it that is uh, is very clean you've got like a, um i think you've got like a, a, a plastic sleeve in there actually um, I don't know whether you can see that in this light or not. No. The uh, contact point for the negative post, uh, negative part of the battery, is uh, is spring loaded. That's fair enough. And of course, the battery goes in positive down. Let's just close that up. Always have problems with that because of my hands the way they are. <laughs> As you can see, it comes on straight away. I'm not going to do it because I haven't got a tank on there. But let's put put my OBS back on there for a second. 
you can see you've got a light either side so that's a, an extra battery um, indicator if you like when the battery runs out runs down that starts flashing that's fair enough right let's take a look at the screen VW or variable watts that will also change to your temperature control you've got your battery indicator there you've got your watts you've got volts on there yeah you've got uh, amps you've also got your ohms there that's fair enough uh, the, the ohms that I've got in this or the uh, the ohms of the uh, the wire that I've got in the tank at the moment is uh, 0.44 that's fair enough it suits this OBS OBS got to call it OBS <laughs> um, yeah right let's have a quick look at the menu system uh, three, uh, yeah, three times click the uh, fire bar and it starts the flash business. Use your right button and it changes your, your uh, wire. So that's bypass, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, TCR modes and back to uh, variable watts. Left button. And you come down, you can change your amps to puff count, screen time, yeah, back to amps. Left button again goes up to the battery indicator, and you can change that to numerals or back to the battery indicator. Right, that's that. Let's turn this off. And you've got five clicks on, five clicks off. Hold your regulatory buttons down. And you flip your screen holding down again and it flips it back again right yes um, while it's off click the fire button I think it's 20 times and you can uh, tell what uh, version firmware you've got on this there we go version 1 well, that's fair enough isn't it <laughs> right okay so uh, I've got it set at 45 watts. Let's go back up top, take a two to this, and then we can put this uh, put this to bed. Welcome back up. Yes, so we've been talking about the Sinuous P80. Actually, I don't mind it. It's quite a nice little thing. It's, uh, it fits in my hand quite nicely. In fact, it hides in my hand. And if I take that tank off of there, I'll show you. Something it's sort of hides in the hand it's uh well it's ergonomically pleasing for me anyway <laughs> i love the uh the sidebar on it i think that the sidebar for fire button is absolutely brilliant let's give this a bit of a two yeah actually that's not bad i've dropped the watts actually down on it down to 45 because i feel that uh this obus or OBS, uh, I should say. Got told off from that by a viewer the other day. <laughs> OBS? What's an OBS? <laughs> OBS. It's got a single coil in there. And uh, to get the, the right sort of flavour from it, you really do need to vape it at a lower type of wattage. Yeah? At least, for me, anyway, the flavour from this tank is, is brilliant. It really is. And what have I got in there? I've got... Uh, uh, sucker punch from uh, the king of clouds yeah Ooh, very nice if you can get hold of some of this do so i'll have his address down underneath the video here right now what can i tell you about this thing uh well totally wicked as usual they've got their write-up on it so i'll read some of that out to you where's mecca not slowing down when it comes to high quality e-cigarette mod take from that what you wish totally wicked present the sinuous p80 a flagship device from Wesmec, designed by sinuous it features a side le oled screen which is uh, 0.96, which is fine. I mean, as I said earlier on, that, that front is it's, it's just a little bit dark. You can just about see it in the daylight. I haven't actually taken this out of the building yet, and it is a terrible bloody fingerprint magnet, I'll tell you. It's awful. It really is. Oh, dear. So if you can get over that, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite good for 80 watts. Quite good. Yeah. Right. 
that to one side. Hidden find button. In other words, that that, that sidebar is the fire button. The uh, um, a removable 18650 batteries. I'm along with one of these Avatar batteries, 2100 Ma, 30 amp. Yeah, so there you go. Up to 80 watts of power. Couple this with a, uh, a 2 amp quick charge and centered 510 connection. And you have the ideal everyday vape. Right, the kit contains just a sinuous P80, a quick charge USB cable, and the user manual. Obviously, you get that war little warning card in there as well. Oh, that's all right, huh? right, specifications, output modes, variable wattage, TC nickel, TC titanium, TC stainless steel, TCR mode, and you've got um, a bypass function on there as well, so you can draw your power directly from from your battery. That's uh, that's okay. One to eighty watt output resistance, 0.05 to 1.5 ohms for temperature control, and uh, 0.1 to 3.5 ohms for variable watts. The temperature ranges. Uh, it's standard at uh, 200 to 600 Fahrenheit of 100 to 315 centigrade. Assembled weight, excluding the packaging, approximately 99 grams, including the battery. So obviously that's not including the tank, but there you go. Right, what else do they say here? They got uh, it says it's a 0.96 inch OLED screen. It's situated at the front of the mod there and shows all your key vaping information at a glance, including the current setting and remaining battery life. The fire button sits hidden under the OLED screen and is activated by gently squeezing the uh, sinuous P80. I'll get some remarkable vapour from this o OBS, I'll tell you. I really do. Yeah, OBS Nano Engine. If you can get one of these, I think you'd be very, very surprised with it. I know I was when I did my uh, did my review for it for AC Click. And I've done a video review for it, if you want to look back on that. Yeah, uh, they come in five colours. What colours are they? Black, silver... Bronze, blue, and red. Fair enough, isn't it? As I say, I've got the bronze one here because I thought that looked at, I, I thought that looked really quite, uh, quite sexy. There, you know. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to try and get hold of a bronze-coloured tank. Yeah, because I've got a couple of these uh, bronze-coloured mods now. Yeah, and at forty-five watts, that's so not not too not too bad. My Biggest con with this is the uh, it's, it acts like a fingerprint magnet. I, I mean, I, I, I'm constantly wiping the blasted thing down. That's my biggest con with it. The screen is just a little bit dark for me. I would prefer that to be just a little bit brighter. It's not uh, well. I mean, I can see it perfectly well with the daylight shining in through the window. As I say, I haven't taken this unit outside yet. So I've yet got to figure that out. I might mention that on another video, actually. It functions, and it functions very, very well. I would recommend this to noobs, actually. Yeah, it does temperature control all right. I'll just take off that OBS off of there. Bang on. Yeah, so I've got the um, the iJoy XO here, which has got stainless steel troll coil in there. It's just... Uh, Yeah, that's bung that up to five hundred Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, it's, I mean that's 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 absolutely fine. Right, let's turn this back. I'll take that off of there because I like the I like the uh, OBS on it. Back on. Turn that to forty-five watts again. Yeah, that suits me. That suits me down to the ground. It does. Yeah. I can actually, I can see me using this as a travel mod, yeah, using it outside, not too worried about the uh, the cost of the thing if I accidentally drop it, because uh, it's relatively cheap at thirty nine ninety nine, 
Um, yeah, you can get it either from the Totally Wicked website or bricks and mortar stores. I actually got mine from the Worthing branch here. Yeah, here in Worthing. <laughs> uh, right. That's it. That's uh, that's basically all I can say about this little thing. It's nice. It's good. It's okay. It's uh, it's. I, I would I would suggest this for a noob actually. This is Kevin from Word in Vapor. Have a great day, guys, and uh, I'll catch you lot on the next one. Let's toot you out. Cheers for now. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles.